through the knowledge of him, through the knowledge of God and Jesus, our Lord, we can experience eternal life. I'll read for you John 17, verse 3, from the New International Version. This was Jesus' Jesus's prayer for the disciples to the Father. After speaking with his disciples, Jesus prayed this prayer. And the prayer goes, Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. As Jesus prayed for his disciples, he actually gave us the definition of eternal life. That they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. We are looking at the benefits we experience through the knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord, or better still, benefits we experience as a result of our knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. Jesus is praying for his disciples. I also want to say here that we are his disciples, that they should know God as the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Now, this knowledge is only possible when you spend time studying the word of God. Because the question is, how else will you know that God is the only true God? How else will you know that Jesus Christ came on earth and died for us? And Jesus Christ was actually sent by God um, to the earth. How else will you know? It is only possible through the knowledge of him. Through the knowledge of him, we can obtain this knowledge through studying of the word of God. Amen. Therefore, we experience eternal life through our knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. And because we have the ability and access to that knowledge while still living on earth, we can begin experiencing eternal life here on earth. Amen. Eternal life begins here on earth. It is not only reserved for the death in Christ. It is also reserved for the living in Christ. Amen. So your ability to begin enjoying eternal life here on earth is to know God as the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Now, like we have already established, this is only possible through the knowledge of the word of God. The disconnect with eternal life occurs when we do not believe that there is God. If you don't believe that there is a God, you cannot know him, right? Or when you believe that there are many gods, then you experience this disconnect with eternal life. Another saying is this, when we believe that there is a God, however, he is not the only one and true God, then there is a disconnect with eternal life. Amen? Then also, when we do not take the time to understand why Jesus Christ was sent. Amen? We experience a disconnect with eternal life. My conclusion this day is this. In order for you to experience eternal life, you need to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord of your life. Believing that there is only one true God and indeed that he he gave his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins. The gift of eternal life has been made available to everyone, but it is only reserved for whosoever will accept it. Consider this day to live eternal life. Amen.